Good day to for the Faculty of Economics of the National Autonomous University of Mexico and for the authorities of our university, it is highly important to be able to be today the hosts of this uh, input-output analysis workshop, which is relevant in itself since it has brought together several specialists, Mexican specialists and specialists from different countries of the world in order to be able to discuss works carried out by Mexican specialists and we will also have the presence of we will also have keynote interventions of some of our foreign guests but the main idea of this workshop is that different specialists from the International Association of Input Output can analysis can get to know discuss debate works carried out by Mexican, Mexican specialists. It is highly important for the National University and for the Faculty of Economics because this is an activity that allows us to reinforce the relationship, the intense relationship that we have with the National Institute of Statistics and Geography. The Faculty of Economics specifically, and a lot of the officers in our office have a very close relationship. We're not only one of the most important centers that consult and disseminate the different works and pieces of research carried out by the National Institute of Statistics and Geography of the highly varied statistical and geographical information that it produces. But we also have a historically intense relationship. We've also had the support of INEGI in many different ways in the Faculty of Economics and other offices of the university. That's why we are pleased to reinforce with academic activities like this the excellent relationship that we have among our different offices, departments. The workshop in itself and the possibility of collaborating with INEGI is also very important for us to hold this workshop since we know the interest that the IIOA has in exploring the possibility of, of carrying out in Mexico its 13th International Conference in the year 2015. The National Autonomous University of Mexico and the National Institute of Statistics and Geography are highly interested in having this activity in Mexico because we're convinced of the importance of the input-output analysis. We are experiencing a very special moment in our country in which we are rethinking our development strategy, we're promoting different reforms, and we're convinced of the importance of delving more deeply into this kind of analysis in order to, be, to orientate, based on firm foundations, the economic policies and the productive promotion policies and the policies promoting the different sectors of our economy that are needed in order to reach a more satisfactory growth than we, what we have had in the last few decades. And we know that it is an essential instrument to be able to reorient our growth and to be able to have a much more certain analysis of the consequences and the intersectorial uh, relationships implied in promoting the works regarding the input-output analyses in our country. We're convinced that being the host of the 23rd Internet, the International Conference would be a very important drive for this kind of work in our country. Because of all this, we are very pleased to have with us today both the colleagues from different institutions, academic institutions in our country, as well as the international guests from the International Input Output Association. Be welcome to the National Autonomous University. Thank you very much.
I will now ask Dr. Enrique del Alba, Vice President of INEGI, to address a message to us and to formally inaugurate the works of this input-output analysis workshop. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to come to this kind of event. On the one hand, I have an academic trajectory, although I'm right now not in academia. I just come to these environments and I actually feel as a fish in water. It's also a pleasure, it's a strange pleasure to meet people that claim that I was their professor 30 years ago. Well, if they say so, it must be true. Anyway, so on behalf of the National Institute of Statistics and Geography, INEGI, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this international workshop of input-output analysis that has been organized jointly by the Faculty of Economics of the UNAMP and INEGI. The goal, the objective of this workshop, as was mentioned, is to disseminate original works carried out by Mexican specialists in input-output analysis to to a selected group of experts, international experts, that will comment them in the face of officials, postgraduate students, and professionals of the INEGI and the National System of Geography and Demographics, all of whom are interested in this theme. We want to generate interest of the institutions and the individuals that are participating in this workshop regarding this economic analysis technique in order to promote the carrying out of works in Mexico applying this tool, this analysis. Beyond this, is the essential element to give sense to the figures in the national accounts of our different countries. The input-output matrix is also a model for a better understanding of the econo economy, specifically of the interactions between different sectors of the economy, recognizing both the direct and indirect effects. After the seminal contribution of Leontief in the 30s of last century, the input-output matrix has become a core tool, both in accountancy and in economic analysis, and it has been object of applications in a wide variety of fields, from industrial organization, foreign trade, labor policy, fiscal policy, the use of natural resources and the impact that they have on the environment, the regional economy, and so on and so forth. Likewise, more recent developments based on the on Leontev's philosophy have gone beyond the sectors of economic activity through incorporating the input-output matrix as part of the social accountability matrices through which a more deeper analysis can be carried out of aspects such as poverty and income distribution. Furthermore, some of the restrictions of the original model that Leontief developed that implies a marginal rate of substitution equal to zero, these have been overcome through the articulation of input-output matrices within the general balance uh, models that allow a social and economic analysis that is much more flexible and therefore much more sophisticated. Mexico has a decade-long tradition of developing input-output matrices, starting with actions tending to construct a system of national accounts for Mexico in the 40s of last century, where there were isolated attempts to get estimates of the national income, but it was actually in the 50s when the Bank of Mexico developed the first input-output matrix in Mexico for 1950. The same bank repeated this exercise for 1960, broadening from 35 to 45 the number of sectors of economic activity, including, including the different rows and columns. 
Based on this, the, it elaborated its national system of four account of the income output and also integrated the national accounts corresponding to the period 1950-1967, including within the design the most recent recommendations issued by the United Nations. Under the promotion of the Secretary of the Presidency of the Mexican Republic and the Department of Industry and Trade, in 1978, a program was developed, an interinstitutional work program was developed that integrated with ECLAC UN and the Bank of Mexico to carry out a statistical confrontation in order to get an input out output matrix for the year 1970, which was also developed at production prices. And it was published in 1978 with a new classifier of the national account system in Mexico, comprising seven different branches and 364 different kinds of economic activities, and introduced for the first time ever matrices to register the origins and destinations nation points of exports household consumption and the consumption of the general government. Taking advantage of the economic census of 1975, another matrix, another input-output matrix was developed with the same features that uh, included different matrix data giving consistency to the results of the time series in the national account system in Mexico. Based on this foundation, since 1981, Mexico has had a national account system that apart from measuring the national uh, the internal product, INEGI, its official producer, started to provide a large amount of information regarding production, occupation, consumption, investment, and the relationships with the rest of the world. The matrix developed in 1978 turned out to be uh, updated through the RAS method created by Richard Stone. By 1980, another input-output matrix was developed with a methodology that was similar to the first two matrices, which was also the foundation to renew the ponderations and the prices in estimating goods and services at the level of activity class, essentially in the constant price estimates of that year. After a long interval, in September 2006, a new matrix was developed with a disaggregation that I had never seen before. By the time that this matrix was available in 2003, Mexico had already become a large exporter of maquila goods and services. Therefore, this activity was separated, which is not based on transactions within the industry, but it is done with the domestic economy regarding activities that have an effect on the domestic, on the national economy. The codifier activities of the national account system in Mexico used since 1970 until 2006 was abandoned in order to adapt the new CIAN classification adopted by an agreement of the three countries signing NAFTA. Besides, there was an interest in having information of the establishments, that pr the productive establishments by strata. So the national productions, i.e. the production of inputs, the gross added value, total ruminations, wages, salaries, taxes to production, gross profits, utilities, and the mean remunerations in 2003 were opened up into 3,000 different classes divided into large, medium, and small establishments. Likewise, the importation matrix was developed, taking into account both point of origin and uh, destination. After the development of this matrix in Mexico, INEGI has recently proposed to renew its matrix, its input-output matrix, every five years. This in agreement with the availability of information based on economic census. 
The, this is a great challenge for Inegi, but it is also a great challenge for the users, since they will have with much more information regarding the theme that must be analyzed. It would be very sad that this wealth of information be underused, since the role of academia is crucial, both regarding the exploitation that the current specialists make of these figures, as well as in terms of the needs to continue training professionals in economics and other disciplines, that these professionals be duly prepared to draw as much social advantage out of this information wealth of the input-output matrix generated by INEGI. I would like to add here that I assume that most of the people present here know the information in depth regarding the input-output uh, analysis that INEGI produces. Nonetheless, I, am, I have been amazed in different forums that I have been to where this existing information is mentioned, information that is available free of charge to any user interested in this. I'm amazed to see how many people ignore this. This might be a failure of ours, actually, in not be being able to disseminate it properly, but I hope, among other things, that this workshop can, this seminar can help help disseminate the information more widely, in this case, the input-output information, which is existing information that is being developed by INEGI. In this sense, I do consider that it's very lucky, very fortunate that generators and users of the input-output matrices join here and gather here today to exchange ideas and approach novel strategies to take better advantage of the information that we have available. In spite of the efforts and the high quality of the work developed by INEGI, they are really valuable when they are used, and specifically when they're given good use to diagnose and solve the large-scale national issues and problems. I'm deeply grateful to the people present here for their contributions in their different areas to give value to the statistical work that INEGI carries out. And I wish you the best of successes in the development of this international seminar on input-output analysis. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to the authorities of the National Institute of Statistics and the Faculty of Economics of the UNAM for your words. We will now have the keynote conference of Dr. Jeffrey Hewings. But before that, the official declaration of inauguration. If you could stand up, please. Being 9.30 a.m. of Thursday, July 25th, 2013, I formally declare this workshop inaugurated, this workshop on input-output analysis.